You special and she reckless And babe, you're my bestest friend Yeah, she my bestie My love for you is endless Nobody else can end it And when I get the money back Then baby girl, you can spend it oh. And everything is alright Hello my darlings Welcome back to part 4 of the garden transformation patio installation vlog <laughs> hope you're all okay um just going to give you a, a little walk around and an update before we start doing any work it is actually half past three in the afternoon at the, at the moment um it's tuesday we're waiting for the pergola to be delivered um it looks like it's probably going to be five o'clock by the time they get here so i don't know whether we'll be attempting to put that up today or whether we'll just wait till tomorrow now and do it in the morning um but yeah i've got a few little updates to show you so i'll just spin the camera around and show you what we've been doing so first and foremost <laughs> to my pleasure look the bird boxes have gone, yay! Les took them down this morning and he's took them two pieces of wood off the wall that was there. So that's done, ready for the pergola to go in place. Les has also concreted round this manhole. He got all the excess concrete that was all bashed and stuff off and re-concreted it so that looks nice and neat now with all the stone around it. He's whackered, all, he's whackered all this he has got to do it again because as you whacker it some parts get lower than others so he has to put a little bit more on and whacker it some more so he's done that and he's just in this corner over here that corner there there was still some brambles so he's just got all them out and put some more stone down so that's got to be whackered as well and he has also bought a umbrella to go on this pillar here and we've got it out the box i'll show it yet it's down nothing at the moment because it's just on the floor but we're going to put that up now i think we're going to do that now um but he might order another one for that pillar there as well depending on how big it is because the so the new sofa is going to go across here the table, the fire pit table is going to be here, so we might need two brollies, one on each, you know, for some shade, because it does get rather hot here, up until about six o'clock, as you can see, the sun's still on it now, so, you know, you still get the sun down, down the bottom there, till about six, so, um, yeah, we're going to put the umbrella up, let me just show it to you. So this is it, it actually looks like nothing at the moment, just through on the floor there, but this fixes to the wall and then the brolly comes out and it folds down, you know, to keep it out the way when you don't need it, obviously. So I think that is the job that we are going to do now. Um, I doubt whether we'll do the pergola today, will we, Bab? It's because it's not here yet, so, you know. We'll probably do it first thing in the morning. So, we're going to get this brolly up. Have an umbrella that fits on the wall, they said. <laughs> God. Yeah. Wow, it ain't an easy job, honestly, getting it up, because like you're having to drill into the brick as well, and these bricks are so old, um, you know, when houses and buildings was built properly back in the day, so them like rock solid, and then if it's just catching on the, the mortar in between a little bit, it kicks out bloody nightmare but we're getting there we're getting there oh and the uh the gazebo's turned up as well but i don't think we'll be doing that today once we've put this up we'll probably just tidy up and call it a day 
go and have some dinner. It's up, <laughs> it's up, and it's secure, and yeah, we really like it. I don't know whether we're going to have another one now. <laughs> I think we might just stick to the one, but it's definitely up. That was, wow, that was really hard to do. Good morning, my darlings. It's Wednesday, it's rather cloudy outside. <laughs> But we have got to get out and start doing some work. But I just wanted to show you this parcel that's just arrived from Amazon. This is the other thing that I was waiting for. And it's this Lazy Susan. Look at the size of it. It's huge. It's absolutely stunning. It really, really is a stunning bit of kit for on your patio table. It was a bit pricey. I'm not going to lie. Um... But I wanted one that was durable, that was going to last from year to year. This is tempered glass on the top and it's rattan on the bottom. And your parasol goes through the middle here. And it's from this company, Nova Outdoor Living on Amazon. It was £82, which I know is a lot. But I am going to get so many years of use out of this. It can even be used inside as well i suppose like on the dining table like this you know if you're entertaining or yeah on any kind of table for buffets and stuff like that so this is going to come in so so handy it really really is i'm so happy with it um yeah very very good quality can't wait to put it on the table so yeah i'll see you outside in a little while when we get going and start putting up the pergola. I'll see you in a little bit. So this is what the Lazy Susan looks like on the table. I've just bought it out to try it. How nice. It's rather large, but it's a large table. So yeah, that's perfect. That is really, really like it. Well impressed with the quality of it and everything as well. Lovely, lovely job lay. Hello! <laughs> right, we're outside and we have started to put the um, pergola together. Um, we're going to put it all together, put it on the patio area, see where we want it, uh, position it, uh, position the sink and everything, then we've got to get it off again. So we're not fixing it down today, we're just, you know, working out where we want it because the stone is coming tomorrow. I've got to see it. <coughs> God. Wow, four in a row. Uh, yeah, the stone's coming tomorrow for on here. So once the stone's on, then we can fix everything properly in place. The furniture's coming tomorrow. So it's all, you know, systems go now. So we're just going to get on and carry on building the um, pergola and I do keep calling it a gazebo it's a pergola Oh, yeah. 
<laughs> we've got the canopy on. That was the hardest part of the whole job because the nuts to screw it together onto the hooks that hang down were so tiny. Les couldn't even feel them at all. Um, so we've managed to do that. It's just going round. I was filming, but it cut off and I didn't know. Um, Les is just going round now, tightening all them little nuts up. Um, then we're going to position it and see where we want it. Yeah, so it's more or less done. That's it, my darlings. It's up. <laughs> All put together. The only thing we've got left to do is on the ends of the, the posts, can you see the silver screws? We've got covers, like these little covers, to go over all the, the screw heads. So we've got to go around and do that, but that can be done uh, once it's in place and stuff. It is going to be spun round, so this um, roof that pulls backwards and forwards will be at the back when it's open rather than at the front. So, yeah, we just got to see where we want it now. But we're just going to have a break and we're going to have some sandwiches and, uh, yeah, we'll see you in a bit. Right, we've moved the gazebo onto the garden out the way so the stone can all be put on here tomorrow. Uh, our last job of today is we are going to put the electrical cable down the pipes, you know, what we put in the other day. So we're going to feed it through underground and it'll come out up that end. And then tomorrow, Les can fix the uh, unit, consumer unit thing on the wall here. So we can turn things on and off from here, light, uh, like lights and um, yeah, anything else that we need electricity for. So that's what we're going to do now. But I'm, I'm, my phone is nearly out of battery, guys. So I'm going to say um, good night now and I'll see you all tomorrow. I hope you're enjoying it so far. I'm very excited for tomorrow, for the stone and the furniture to come. So, yeah, I'll see you all tomorrow. Good night, God bless. Bye. Good morning, my darlings. Happy 1st of June. It's a Thursday. It's a beautiful day. Sun's shining. It's a bit windy and there's a bit of a chill in the air. That's why I've got my shirt on at the moment. The weather app does say that it's going to get a bit warmer this afternoon, so yeah, but it's it's a bit chilly, and it was freezing last night here, yeah, we had the heating on, <laughs> it was bloody freezing, but I have got my bikini top on underneath for when, the, you know, it does get a bit warmer. Right, so, today's plan of action regarding this um, patio installation and, you know, renovation or what have you. Um, we're waiting for the coloured stone to be delivered so while we're waiting for that I think Les is just going to level off again, whacker what's on there now, level off again so it's all lovely level and compact um, so it's ready for the stone just to go straight on top of it when it arrives we're also waiting for the garden furniture to arrive which they said will be between 9 and 5 so there's going to be another part to this um, series, this vlog series, uh, because, you know, I, I don't want to make them too long. I think half hour, 45 minutes is plenty long enough. So um, I'm going to do some bits and pieces today and upload this vlog tonight and then start another one, um, which will be part five. Wow. So yeah, uh, there's the whackering to do, there's some tidying up to do, you know, sweeping and moving bits and pieces and getting it took over to the fire pit. Uh, I've got the the stainless steel sink to clean again because I left like this um, astonish bleach cream stuff on it and it's dried on, but it has fetched off the, the marks that was on it. So that's come up, uh, you know, I've rubbed it a little bit and that, that has come up really nice. Um, what else is there to do? Uh, well, if the furniture comes, we're going to build that. But like I said, that'll be in the next vlog. But my first job today, I am going to put these white flowers whoops, into my pots here on the fountain. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm not going to stick them in just like this. 
I'm going to separate them and dot it around. Um, and I've only I'm, go, I'm only going to use I bought twelve, but I'm I bought six out with me. I don't know whether I'll use all that because I can use them in some other arrangements. And I bought six of these ones out, so one of each, one one of these in each of the plant pots. So <clears throat> that's the first job that I'm going to do this morning. So I hope you're all okay, and I hope the weather's nice where you are. Um, yeah, first of June. Wow. Where's this year gone? We're six months into the year now. Bloody hell. We'll blink our eyes. It'll be Christmas again. <laughs> right. Let's get cracking and do these pots. I'll put you on a bit of a, a time lapse, as always, with some, um, some nice music. So I'm going to put these ones in first. I'm just going to go around and pop them all in and then uh, I'll show you what it looks like you know once I've done it because I definitely think it needs a little bit more white and um, quite a few of you agreed as well So this is what they look like now with a little bit more whiting. They look so so nice now. You know, just it's just added that last little bit of something that they needed, I think. And I've got some left to use in another arrangement around the garden. So yeah, I think they they look lovely now. No more is needed to be added. That you know we've got every colour of the rainbow in there, haven't we? So yeah, really pleased now. So the next job, um, well, I don't know whether it's the next one I'm going to do, but a job that we have got to do. A lot of you were saying that you would like to see the um, pool up and running. And we have had it up and running. It does work, um, but we've got to check the lights. So we may need new lights in there. Um, it needs cleaning and yeah, we do intend on getting it done as soon as possible, but there's so much more to be doing at the moment. This will probably be one of the last jobs, you know, that we do um, is give it a clean out, just sweep it and wipe it out because it's bound dry now and then refill it check the lights and refill it so yeah we have got that job to do but not today <laughs> but yeah i am really pleased with how that looks now it's it's beautiful isn't it it's a gorgeous feature in the garden one of my favorites uh les is just doing the filling in of the bits of stone where it needs it then he's going to whacker it so what i'm going to do i'm going to get the wheelbarrow and i'm going to start tidying up there's like cement bags over here that need moving this wooden stuff here les is using to build doors on that there he's going to put doors on there so all that will be enclosed we've got to tidy it out and stuff because there's all sorts of scaffolding boards in there there's a um, uh, a lift kind of thing like a scissor lift thing um pieces for the back of the lawnmower the old lawnmower so yeah it's got to be you know tidied out with that again that's another day but i am going to clean up around the edges here and then i've also got um this to clean up the gazebo stood up overnight even though it was windy <laughs> we did pin it down now 
I've got this little area here to clean up again, cement bags, you know, the bird boxes off the wall, they can go over the fire and just, you know, give it a general nice tidy up ready for the stone to go on. And I've also got to clean that sink. So I'm going to grab the wheelbarrow and I'm going to start doing a bit of tidying up with my sweeping brush. It, that's that little area done what I can get at anyway until we drag everything out and you know give it a proper clean and get all the the weeds down because I'm growing up the bloody walls the brambles that get everywhere don't they so yeah that's that little area done and now you know what's coming fag break <laughs> so first delivery of the day has arrived the stone it's just going to be dropped down here and then Les will just pick it up on the forklift truck and take it round onto the patio and then we'll just slit the bottom of the bags as we're putting it on and it'll just gently all drop out onto the patio and then we've just got to rake it level look how blue the sky is guys it's absolutely beautiful What a machine that is, eh? You can see, this is how, remember how big this pile of stone was? That's how much we've used on the, um, the patio area of this shale stuff. What's this called? No, Les, not shale. MOT. MOT stone. And then when it's wet and it, the dust compacts it all and it goes hard like cement. That's why Les has put that underneath what this stone is. I'll show it you when he's finished putting it, putting it off the library. I'll show you uh, the colour of it. It's a mixed, mixed colour, like a sandy colour and there's grey in there as well. So all the colours are going to tie in together. This is the stone, look guys, look at all the different colours, it's got like like a sandy colour, white, grey, all different colours for the patio. So I think that's going to look really nice and it's going to tie the fountain in and the grey of the furniture and the gazebo and stuff. So yeah, love it. And this is 10 mil, 10 mil flint 10 mil flint this is so yeah really like that that's gonna look lovely that is so we're just gonna wet all this down now and leslie's gonna whacker it ready for the, the stone to go on the top
now. Maybe it's going out, but it's another toy. It's filled in any gaps. So yeah, it's real compact now. But while Leslie's doing that, I'm just going to go down the other end and tidy up this uh, little corner. Because everything on the garden, I'll tell you what, the grass could do with watering. Could do with a little bit of rain, really, because it's so dry. So I'm just going to tidy this little corner up here. And I'm presuming that when Les has done this wackering, we're going to get some stone on. And then I've also got down there, along the side of the house there, that I need to tidy up as well. Scrape all the, the little bits of excess that they've coming off there and restoning. So, yeah, that corner's okay for now. We've just had a sandwich um, and a drink and a little five minutes relax. And um, what we're going to do now, Les has whackered this again, is cut down the gas pipe where the fire, the fire pit table's gonna go. So he's lowered that a little bit now. Um, yeah, it's all ready for the stone to go on. So we're gonna start bringing it round a bag at a time now. Les is gonna use the forklift to drive on. And yeah, we're gonna get the stone on. So it's gonna look so different when this is on. I'm very, very excited. <laughs> That's one bag done and scraped out, just another four to go, <laughs> but one bag has done all that section there, just needs another little bit of scrape along the back there, it's just a little bit unlevel, but yeah, looking really nice, really, really like the colour as well, matches the fountain perfectly, love it. Well, that's uh, the third bag there that we're into at the minute and we've got down to the other side of that drain there and that was our goal today was to get to that level there because Les has got some electrical work to do in this corner here and stuff um, and whacker this 
and then once he's finished the electrical work, we'll be able to whacker that bit. Well, Les will whacker that bit and um, put the stone down and get the curbs in because, as I've told you before, the curbs going across here, these these things here, Les don't want to put them in until he doesn't have to drive on and off with any of the machines anymore because of unbraking and stuff. Uh, so yeah, that's where we've got to today. Um, yeah, quite happy with what we've achieved today. The furniture still hasn't arrived. Let me turn the camera around and uh, I'll say goodbye to you properly because I'm going to finish the vlog here. Hang on. I've just come this side of the camera instead. <laughs> um, yeah, the furniture still hasn't arrived. I did ring them and they said that they're on their way. And it's what time now? It's 10 to 6 now. So I'm going to finish this vlog here and start the next vlog with us putting uh, the furniture on. You know, because we can put furniture on now up to the point where we are. And then the last thing will be the gazebo and the barbecue and everything. So, yeah, I'm going to leave this one here. And I hope you've all enjoyed it. If you did, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe down below if you haven't already. And I'll see you all in the next one, part five. Bloody hell, this one's going on a bit. <laughs> Les says if he was 20 years younger, this job would have been done in two days. <laughs> it's took us how long now? Nearly two weeks. No, no we mean no rush, exactly. We ain't in a rush to, you know, get it ready or for anybody, so apart from ourselves. But yeah, um, I'm going to leave it here and I hope you enjoy the rest of your day and I'll see you all in the next one. I love you guys loads. Thanks for watching. Bye.